Here is your latest South African Parliament news updates. Judith Malem addressed the National Assembly as land reform bill was adopted to allow land expropriation without compensation. Have a look at what transpired. Honorable Malema. Thank you very much, uh, House Chair. We gathered here today to engage in one of the most important steps in the process of amending the Constitution of the Republic of South Africa. This is happening after the successful motion of the EFF to expropriate land without compensation. And therefore, anyone else who doesn't want to hear this fact is because that person wants to distort history. The people of South Africa of all races, age and social economic background for the first time came together to make their inputs in the public hearings. And therefore, we from the EFF confirm that the process was fair. Everybody else was heard, including those who had a different view. They were given an opportunity to express themselves. The intention has never been to run a referendum. Because if we had conducted a referendum, you can be guaranteed that 90% of South Africans would have voted for expropriation of land without compensation. We say so because the parties that support the land expropriation without compensation in this house constitute more than two-thirds majority. And therefore, if that was to be translated into the outcomes of a referendum, you can be guaranteed that you will lose. So we really want to commend the patience of the chairpersons of both committees. They were patient and allowed us, even when at times the debate became more robust, they kept their cool and called everybody to order so that public hearings can continue uh, peacefully. We've experienced that and we want to congratulate them for having conducted a very dignified and peaceful process of listening to our people. There's one thing that all of you must actually acknowledge, that uh, the white people who came, all of them, poor or rich, the landless white people, all of them came in unison and opposed the expropriation of land without compensation. Because the reality is that where white interest and privilege is threatened, they protect one another. If they don't care whether the other one is in the wrong or not, why would people think alike like that? If it's not an issue of racism and privilege which seeks to perpetuate landlessness amongst those who were conquered by criminals who came into our country and took our land. We amongst black people and Africans in particular, there were different views because we don't come from a process that seeks to isolate anyone, but we come from a background that seeks to win a debate through an honest engagement. But here you've got a group of people, not only in the referendum, not only in the consultation, a group of people who 90% of them vote for the same party. And you ask yourself, what is this? This is white privilege. This is in defense of white privilege which seeks to perpetuate landlessness amongst our people. Rale Therefore, Rame the Rame black Rame unity, Rame and in particular Rame African unity, Rame is very